The newest person that the SJWs have turned their sights on is Robert Downey Jr. Because suddenly, after like 11 years, they are super offended all of a sudden over the whole Tropic Thunder movie where Robert Downey Jr. played a character with blackface. And uh, everyone is losing their minds. All the SJWs are absolutely going insane right now. And I'm going to show you some of that on Twitter in just a little bit. But they aren't, they're totally missing the the context of what was going on in the movie. Most of them probably haven't even seen the movie, to be honest. But most of them, um, but they're, they're completely missing why he was doing that in that movie. Why he was wearing blackface in that movie. And uh, I think it's really hilarious how the, the whole context of that is just going right over everyone's heads. But I guess it shouldn't really surprise me because SJWs are honestly pretty stupid people. So they probably don't really understand any of that type of stuff. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here because Robert Downey Jr. himself went out to talk about this whole thing that happened. his The whole uh, blackface incident in Tropic Thunder. Let's go ahead and hear what he has to say about that. So... In an interview with Joe Rogan for his popular podcast released Wednesday, superstar actor Robert Downey Jr. explained why he ultimately chose to take on the role of self-important actor Kirk Lazarus for Ben Stiller's 2008 comedy Tro Tropic Thunder. Okay, so that's actually 12 years ago. A role that included uh, Downey dressed for most of the film in blackface and doing a hilarious bad impress impersonation of an African-American man as imagined by an egotistical Hollywood A-lister. And that's the whole, that's the irony of it. That's that's the whole point of why they're doing it is to point out the, the hypocrisy and insanity of Hollywood. Asked by Rogan if he can make a film like Tropic Thunder today, Downey suggestively responded, oh, you could do it. <laughs> a line that drew a big laugh out of the host. And uh, I, I find that very funny, funny because if you think about it, Tropic Thunder would be a movie that would absolutely not be made today. There's absolutely no way anyone would make a Tropic Thunder movie in today's Hollywood climate. And I find it very interesting how much things have changed over the past uh, decade and stuff. It's it's really weird. So anyway, Tropic Thunder, Downey explained, remind, remain, reminded him of his father's 1969 dark satire Putin, Putney, Putney Swope about a token black man on the executive board of an advertising firm who is accidentally put in charge and then gets a chance to reshape the cor corrupt company and in the process is forced to confront his own corruption. When Stiller contacted him about playing the role, Downey said he was in initially enthusiastic, then began doubting the decision. I thought, yeah, I'll do it that, and I'll do that after Iron Man, said Downey. Then I was thinking, this is a terrible idea. Then I thought, hold on, dude, get real here. Where is your heart, said Downey. And my heart is, A, I get to be black for summer in, in my mind, so there's something in it for me. Having gotten another big laugh out of Rogan, Downey got to what he made clear was his true motivation for taking on the role. The other thing is I get to hold up to nature the insane, self-involved hypocrisy of artists and what they think they're allowed to do on, on occasion, just my opinion. And he's spot on correct here. I was actually really surprised that Robert Downey Jr. came out and said this because I guess it's kind of Robert Downey Jr. has always been kind of someone that's been kind of hard to figure out exactly where he stands on all this type of stuff, but it seems like he kind of speaks out a little bit on it right here. Um, you know, RDJ, I'm sure, has done some things that have been pretty crazy and stuff. Uh, you know, he, he, of course, is inundated in the whole Hollywood, uh, you know, culture, so he probably has. But it seems like, for the most part, RDJ has been a fairly you know, grounded person in a lot of ways. He's very, like, uh, open to giving and helping other people and doing all of that type of stuff, and I, I always appreciate that. So, um, and I appreciate the fact that he is calling out hypocrisy and he, right here in this interview, and he understands the, the insanity that's in Hollywood. So, at least to a certain extent, you know, uh, kind of in the same way that Ricky Gervais does, I think, as well. So, Downey also pointed to having a chance to work with Stiller, for whom he has immense respect and who Downey prays for handling the inevitably offensive nightmare of a movie. And also Ben, who is a masterful artist and director, probably the closest thing to a Charlie Chap Chaplin that I've experienced in my lifetime. He writes, he directs, he acts. If you had seen him when he was directing this movie, you would have been like, I'm watching David Lean, I'm watching Chaplin, I'm watching Coppola. He knew exactly what the, what the vision for this was. He executed it. It was impossible to not be... Ha to to not have it be an offensive nightmare of a movie and 90% of my black friend, friends were like, dude, that was great. 
And I totally believe that, you know? I know a lot of, I have a lot of black friends as well that love that movie, that don't really have any problem with it because they actually see why Robert Downey Jr. was doing what he was doing in that movie. He wasn't doing it to mock, you know, blacks or anything like that. It was to mock hypocrisy in Hollywood, which is great, you know? I'm always down for mocking hypocrisy in Hollywood. Just mock, mocking Hollywood in general. I think that they need to be mocked more, to be honest, because they, they're on their high horse and they need to be brought down a peg. Um, so, you know, and it, it would be a completely different type of scenario here. And I don't, I don't have a problem with what he does in the movie either, because I can see why he's doing what he's doing in the movie, but it would be a completely different scenario if say like uh, Robert Downey Jr. was just like, I don't know, going around with blackface just without any sort of context really. And all that type of stuff like I would have more of a problem with that but since he's just playing a character in a movie and all that type of stuff and just trying to portray the character in a certain way as a Hollywood hip hypocrite pretty much then it doesn't really bother me I, under I understand why he's doing it in the movie he isn't doing it to be offensive to black people he's trying to be offensive to Hollywood <laughs> to be honest so and uh, I you know Asked about the other 10% down, he said, I can't disagree with him, but I know where my heart was. So, you know, he, he understands why he was doing it. He wasn't doing it to, you know, bash black people or anything like that. So, you know, I, like I said, I don't have a problem with it either. I remember watching that movie for the first time and I was like, this movie is hilarious. I love just how crazy this movie is. And there's no holds, uh, there's no holding back in this movie. Um, you know, Tom Cruise was great in that movie as well. Like his character was just like insane. I remember just watching it for the first time and I forgot that Tom Cruise was in it. And I was just looking at, at his character and I was like, is that Tom Cruise? <laughs> and I was like, he doesn't look... He, he literally doesn't look anything like Tom Cruise right here. Um, but his voice is like, that that's Tom Cruise. That is Tom Cruise. Anyway, so... Um, and this is what he said back when the movie actually came out. So, this was back in 2008 um, when, he, when the movie first came out and stuff. And these are kind of some of the things that he was saying about it back then as well. Downey said he initially worried that his portrayal of a white actor playing a black man could hurt his career. And he bristled at being given what he thought would be the most controversial role in the film directed by Ben Stiller. And so far, Tropic Thunder, which opens on Wednesday, has generated no black backlash against the 43-year-old actor uh, star of Iron Man. I mean, you know, the, the backlash for everything wasn't quite as strong back then, so... So yeah, I mean, it would be a completely different story today. It's entertainment that's set up by people who are high-minded enough to not be racist or offensive. He said, the whole film is based on the idea that we actors do at some level is offensive and who we are at some level is despicable and pathetic, which is the truth and not the truth. But the part of it that is the truth is entertaining. And I, I agree with what he says here, man. I, I think that what he says is just so truthful, so spot on. And um, it's crazy to me to see just how people are losing their minds. And there's been a lot of that. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that Robert Downey Jr. was on Joe Rogan's show in the first place. That probably just is, you know, getting everyone's panties and not already. But on top of that, him talking about the, the blackface incident has suddenly made everyone super duper offended about that again. And everyone's like, oh, be offended, be offended. Reee! So let's go ahead and take a look at what some of the things are that people are saying here. So we have uh, Robert Downey Jr. was nominated for an Oscar for doing an entire film in blackface in 2009. And somehow this hasn't been a persistent sor source of controversy in his career over the last decade. I don't have a point, but it seems like something that should come up ever. Hilarious to me. Hilarious to me. You know, completely missing the entire point of why Robert Downey Jr. was doing what he was doing in that movie. Completely. People like this are, uh, I, I, sometimes I just marvel at just how dumb people are. It, it's, it truly baffles my mind that my mind at times, my minds, I only have one mind. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Anyway, Robert Downey Jr. Did not only do not, did not only did blackface and yellowface, but also said a transphobic slur and has made sexist and homophobic remarks. So we, um, and bear in mind that Robert Downey Jr. and Ben Stiller were mocking blackface, not perpetuating it. Interested to hear your thoughts. Exactly. Exactly. That was the whole point of the movie. Uh, but people just automatically just see blackface and they're like, ah, freak out. And nobody, nobody wants to take the time to actually understand the context of what is going on. 
and context doesn't matter anymore to these people it's all about just the uh, the the face value identity politics nonsense people are so shallow and people are so incredibly dumb you mean to tell me y'all will count uh cancel robert downey jr over a script joke but not about the blackface yellow face transphobia and sexist comments i really just took a dumb joke about taylor swift to get y'all to hate him uh okay uh and i guess she's trying to start the robert downey jr's over party um i actually am a big fan of robert downey jr i've enjoyed pretty much every performance that i've seen him in i think that he does a good job um, and he's, for the most part, you know, he's more down to earth than a lot of actors are, to be honest. And which is weird to say, because he's one of the highest grossing actors, um, currently today. Um, and, uh, he, you know, he, he continues to just, you know, do his thing. And, uh, he, he doesn't really, um, seem like he's too much of a high horse type of celebrity. I think that, I think what he went through back in, uh, the early days of his career, you know, with, uh, with, uh, drugs and all that type of stuff. I think that that really, you know, that really humbled him in a lot of ways. I think that, I think that's kind of what happened here. So, um, anyway, so Robert Downey Jr. did blackface and no one said anything. I F with Tropic Thunder though. And it's just hilarious to me. It's hilarious to me. Well, yeah, because nobody said anything. Cause at least back when the movie came out, people still had a little bit of a, of a brain, uh, not so much anymore, let me tell you what. Anyway, and uh, it's just crazy just going through all these comments and you just see all the screeching and screaming and crying and whining and it just, that's what happens. As soon as, you know, Robert Downey Jr. goes on Joe Rogan's show and talks about blackface, suddenly everyone's offended again. Um, but, you know, no one ever really had a problem with it before that. So, with that being said, let me know in the comments below what you think about this. What do you think about Robert? what Robert Downey Jr. said about uh, the movie Tropic Thunder and stuff? And uh, let me know if, how you, do you like Tropic Thunder? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.